Notorious for the double jumping out of disadvantage. The one Notorious for popping out a little bit of a cheat. Up ends mean nothing to Yoshi unless his timing is flame perfect. There's going to be a lot of learning on both ends because consider the fact that we don't have many Meta Knights here in New York for Suarez to have the matchup experience on. And in fact, in Tri-State, we only have a small handful of them. So it's going to be a learning experience as we start things off on Pokemon Stadium 2 for this next winter side match. Oh my gosh, but quickly getting that F smash off, Suarez now needs a way to be able to land back onto the stage. Just mixing up his movement show, staying nice and ambiguous using that downbeat. The way that Yoshi's going to be able to track Meta Knight's ground and air movement, I think is actually going to be a big deal for oh, show yeah. as the set goes on. Yoshi just a persistent thorn in your side. But I really like the use of Mod Tornado to try to catch. Oh, but that doesn't get that up. He swallowed is getting that neutral. He also would have been able to cover the potential tech chase situation. Now show just going to be looking through this next opening, using all those multi-jumps, kind of as a pseudo floaty, right? Just staying in front of the shield, waiting to see if Suarez is going to be impatient. Yo, I need, the, I need the cats at home to start counting the nares. You're going to see a lot of Yoshi Nair oh, yeah. in this set. It's going to be the premier breaker for a lot of shows pressure. Great way to get out of shields, which is where Yoshi's going to be spending a good deal of time playing. And also, depending on how it hits, that's a great starter for Suarez. Oh, but going to be getting that down. Suarez keeping it nice and competitive. Uh, now going to be stuck at the ledge, using the egg as the opening to make it back on, and using all these multi-jabs as well. Wow, just such a good all-coverage option. I really like the way that show is making use of the rapid jabs, and I, yo, you know I'm a big fan of the egg lay chains. Tara is really the one to do it. Oh yeah, oh. especially with a bunch of like wave bounce eggs, he is fantastic with his movement, but then doesn't get the up tilt into the neutral extension that he was looking for. A fairly light, uh, light character like Meta Knight is going to offer a lot of changes to how Suarez typically will pressure his targets because Meta Knight's just going to sort of pop out of those more lengthy Yoshi combos. But at the same time, those one-two hit combos are going to mean a lot more. Show's just pressing a bunch of safe hits that Swellis can't really immediately punish out of shield. But now, oh my goodness, what an upbeat. Uh, didn't snap onto the ledge immediately. That could have been a huge opening, but Swellis just a little bit too far out to punish it in time. Go there, up air with A coverage, getting the snipe, securing the stock. Oh yeah. Oh, and not able to get those upbeats off, but gets that one and doesn't follow it up into the upbeat. Ends oh, up upbeating into the wrong direction. All of a sudden, Swag is able to convert that into 40-40% and stage control, most importantly. Very good option on using Dimensional Cape coming back in and just trying to stick on top of Suarez, rack that damage up. This is plenty of an opportunity for Show to get the stock, but you are oh, yeah. not going to be able to rely on Shuttle Loop in this matchup. <laughs> That's that uh, egg, and doesn't convert it into the Florida in time. Suarez drops his shield a little bit too late to be able to get that off. And... The buffer grab? Oh, that's... It's terrible. Oh, no. There's some drag downs of Meta Knight, I believe, that don't send you into Tumble, and there's some that do. Um, hence what he was, like, looking for. Yeah, no, it was a very weird situation to be in, and... Because of Yoshi's armor, there's going to be a lot of those weird situations Ooh. throughout the set. But what a situation. They show um, landing with a safe button and able to bait like a jump out of shield against the Swarlis who thought that he could punish it out of shield. And, okay, is it time to make something happen? He doesn't get the up off of it. Uh, Swarlis just holds it out and away. All right, the pop-up. Yep. Back air, up tilt, up air. A classic from Suarez and a great way to end out game one. Yeah, there's so many ways that situation can go wrong, too. You can hit like a full back here, and then the opponent gets popped up in a juggle. You can get the drag down that sends him into tumble, and then all of a sudden you set up a free jab lock for yourself. But you set up this kind of drag down back here, you think you're pairing a multi-hit, you are not. Incredible spacing on that up tilt, able to get up there with that double jump up here in time. And that's how slow is. He has that technical precision, he has that execution. Oh, it's such a tall order to try to play out a parry against Yoshi because you have to consider the fact that Yoshi's going to have his get-out-of-jail-free cards. Oh, yeah. So, going on to game number two, I feel like there's just like a sincere issue of just like, oh, you've taken away the biggest thing that Meta Knight does. Up air combos. Dash attack, up air. And <laughs> being able to get kills off of that too, I feel like Show is struggling to just even it up damage-wise. I think also consider the fact that drag down back air is a huge component of Meta Knight's pressure. That's also taken away. We have Nair, we have a lot of Rapid Jab as well. An otherwise 
not the best of options that you see, but it's been Cho's go-to option for just getting that damage in. Winning out in neutral has been going very well for him. I love how Sho is just not giving up after he presses an unsafe button. He is managing his drift. He's staying nice and ambiguous. But alas, that was that back head of the down smash. If he did a two to down down smash, that's what would have been able to actually cover the landing. But the back hit came out a little bit too late. It's such an unconventional matchup, and both of these players seem very comfortable in how they want to play. So having to, like, attune things on the fly oh, yeah. is leading to these very funky situations. But at the end of the day, when you're going hit for hit, Yoshi's going to be hitting harder, and he's oh, not yeah. going to be struggling as much to secure those kills. And so just pressing a bunch of F-Smashes in the safe place because you can do that as Meta Knight. But there it is again, the drag down back here into the up tilt, into the up hill, so clean on that execution, and Swoilius has another lead. It's just such a surefire way of, even if not getting the kill itself, you set up for a kill off of Egg Snipe if necessary. And worst case scenario, you rack up that damage. And I think damage is really what the name of the game is here because where Meta Knight doesn't have a lot of his surefire aerial combos, I'm sure Sho is winning out in these little oh, hits, but it's not God. amounting to much as Suarez secures yet another stop. And that spacing to get him up and above that F-Smash also just like excellent. Sho not able to get much off those drag down back hills. You mentioned it before, and there it is. The beauty of this egg lays, Suarez is in Sho's head. Yeah, he's playing so comfortably right now, just getting hit after hit off. And also consider the positioning. Suarez just running away with being able to play center stage when he wants. The platform's definitively in his control. And we're oh, yeah. only really at the ledge if Suarez demands it. Makes it back on, just so patient. Up B not going to be able to kill Yoshi, just heavy <laughs> enough to do so. It's so tough. Finally get both hits of Shuttle Loop to connect it for it to not matter for show. Okay, is this going to be the backfield? Yes, it will be, just to get a bit of stage control. Sho needs a way to be able to close. F Smash is going to be the move of choice, but Frank, is it too late? I don't know. It's a tall order for Show to bring this one back. Sitting at 94%, it's quite a bit for Meta Knight. And Dimensional Cape just shy of getting back to the ledge. It's set. a painful end to the set, but it is one that's going to end in favor of Suarez. Yeah. This kind of went a little bit like how I thought it would be. It seems like one of Meta Knight's just like most difficult matchups because a lot of what he relies on is those like really safe, ambiguous hits baiting an opponent to go in, as well as those up air ladders, as well as those dash attacks. You don't really get, a, get to get away with it against Yoshi. You off by a single frame, he is able to double jump on out of there, he's able to land against you, and then he also lives. Yoshi is heftier than people think he is. Wow, beautiful, right? It's just. It's it's almost sad to see Meta Knight when he is bereft of his combo game. And it's not on the player, it's just straight up the character yep. matchup. He's also so huge on edge guarding. Another thing that you can't really do against Yoshi like that. One thing that makes him so menacing is because of the fact that he has side B, he has neutral B, he has up B. He has all of these hits off stage neutraling. He has multiple ways of doing so, especially with all of his multi jumps, how much sustain he has off stage to deny 90% of the Gosses recoveries, except for Yoshi. That double jump finally puts in work it does not let you do that it does not let you go out there against uh the dinosaur it's just one of those matchups that you gotta learn yep. it's you know it's almost funny but you're in one of the best places in the world to learn it that's tough dude that's tough yeah uh, but anyways good stuff to show definitely not the last that we've seen of him today he is going to be going on through the losers bracket so up next we have a player that I feel like I've become quite familiar with in recent time Joshathan Gamer coming okay. in from PA uh, Joshathan G used to run a lot of the Xeno Wi-Fi's, he used to be always winning them, and now, you know, in PA, he has a really respectable ROM and a really respectable Aegis. That's a dangerous combination of characters to bring to the table. You have coverage for not just the entire cast, multiple styles of play as well.